Our next interval is a major second, and that is a distance of two half steps or two frets on our guitar. So if I want to play major seconds on my guitar, it's as simple as doing this. I can just take a note, and then I can just go two frets over with my ring finger. I could also, uh, like that was going from A to B, I could also go from A to B like this. I could put my pinky on A, and then if I just move back three frets, there's my major second right there. And if I want to play a major second on the next few strings, it's going to be the exact same thing. I three fret distance like that. And then, of course, as I come to these two strings, I'll have to bring in my first finger a little bit to play a major second. And then if I'm on the first two strings, I can do this stretch again to make a major second. All right. Now, what does the major second feel like? Unfortunately, I'm kind of at a loss for words for what does this one actually feel like. And it's one of the rare intervals that doesn't have a distinct identity. So to me, that is its identity, that it really doesn't have a distinct sound. Um, it's fairly close sounding. But to me, it doesn't sound dark or dreamy or dissonant or happy. It's just kind of, ugh, it's just kind of bland. And that's how I recognize it. I recognize it as a pretty bland interval. Um, what's more helpful to me, other than trying to pin an emotion on this specific interval, is knowing what songs use this major second interval. So uh, one uh, really good example is Freire's Yaka or Are You Sleeping? That starts off with just a major second. Are you sleeping? Are you? Are you? That's your major second interval. You can also think of uh, You Really Got Me by either Van Halen or The Kinks. You really got me. You really got me. All right, that's a major second as well. Just thinking of the beginning of your major scale. Your major scale starts with Do, Re, Mi. So that distance of Do, Re, that's what I listen for when I'm thinking about a major second. So I'm trying to think, what would it sound like if I started singing my major scale off of this note? And then I think the last example I can give you would be Happy Birthday. That's another common one that starts with a, a whole step distance right there. Happy Birthday, Happy Birthday, that major second interval. All right. So to test ourselves, what we want to do is play a, a random note. And we try and sing that random note. Ah. Now I'm going to imagine from this note, I'm going to imagine what it would sound like if I went a whole step up. So I have to imagine singing Do, Re from here. Do, Re. So I'm hoping this note right here sounds like that. And it does. All right. I'll start in one more spot. Here's a C. C, Do, Re, Do, Re. So I was able to guess that note. And even though I've been doing this a long time, I still do this because uh, as I try to slowly get better at singing, uh, I think it's important to know how sharp or flat I am. And I, and I notice that very rarely am I right there on that note. So you can kind of get a little dual practice here as a vocalist as well if you're into that sort of thing. So that's all I've got to say about the major second. I want to move on to the minor third.